<clears throat> Hello everyone, I hope you're well. This week we continue our exploration of the fragrant Buddha Qigong and we're going to look at all of the um, 12 movements in a bit more detail and I'm going to show you both standing and seated versions, okay? I spend a bit more time on this and a little bit more guidance on the movements having introduced them to you the last few weeks. Okay, so stretch both hands up, one arm up, whatever's coming for you, and then twist to one side. And change, twist to the other side. And come back and release, arms down, heel up. Look to one side. Change. Push back a little bit more. So when I stand it up, it nearly goes. Look straight ahead and then one ear to one shoulder. Come up. Change. Uh, and then chin down and roll the chin from one shoulder to the other in a semi-circle. Come up. Shoulders up to the ears, roll them back. Circle up and back. And roll them forward. Right. And one arm circle it backwards. And forward. Is the other side available? Is it a body movement? Is it a chest movement? A shoulder movement? Or can pass the arm or the whole arm be involved in the movement? Circling one way and the other way. Great. Sitting up tall, cross one arm over the body, up tall, twist. And let's come back round the other arm or the same arm to the other side, up tall, twist round. Come back to the middle. Nice, okay. Legs, lift one leg. Circle the toes, use support if you need to, no problem at all. Circle the other way. And then, if possible, a straightening of the leg, pulling back of the knee. Other leg, what's available? Support, is the whole leg available? The knee, the foot at the ankle, circling one way the other way. Can it be lengthened? Can it be pulled in? All right. And then also maybe on the floor, can you circle the toes and the ball of the foot? One or both legs. Circle the other way. Okay. All right. So we're going to start the 12 moves of the Fragrant Buddha. We had a little look at it seated and then standing. I'm going to go through all of it and I'll show you and um, variants of seated and standing, one arm, one side and two sides, okay? So, hands on your belly. Breathing in through your nose. Feel that 
balloon in your belly as you breathe in, breathe out. Take your hands into prayer position or one hand in a single prayer. This Amitofu position in Buddhism. And I want you to swim your palms like fish in the sea. And just imagine what kind of fish you are, what kind of fish you're swimming past. Maybe you're part of the shoal all moving at the same motion in the same manner at the same time. Maybe you're passing, passing by other fish, different sizes, colors. And you can do this seated. You might have started the practice standing. Whatever's right for you. Breathing in slowly into your belly. Let that breath go in and out smoothly. Part of the swimming gracefully in a clear blue lagoon of your fish. Great, lovely. Okay, number two, still keeping the prayer position, either double or single. And breathing out as you go down, breathing in as you come up, breathing out, breathing in. Single version. Double version. Maybe you might hear a chime, like a bell being struck at a regular interval. Okay, number three, yes. again seated, I'm going to do this one standing as an option. I want you to have fingers pointing together and then opening up and coming back. Can I do it? A little tapping of fingers if you are just on the top of the water surface. I mean, it could be standing like this, be seated like this. It'll ripple on the surface of the water with your fingers. And again, this is both arms, one arm. Keep the shoulders relaxed, elbows heavy, playful in the fingertips. Nice, guys. Enjoy the playfulness and the lightness. Imagine little raindrops, little drops from a waterfall, maybe, on top of a water surface. Okay, lovely. Number four, imagine you are on top of a temple or a church or something, and there's a, a spire or a steeple or a pagoda. And you're tracing out a curve coming up. Curving out. This is actually the shape of number eight in Chinese, the Chinese picture. And so again, we've got seated, breathing in. Breathing out, we've got standing. Whatever's right for you today.
and we have one-sided in that curve of one side of the slope. Two-sided. Lovely. Okay, moving on to number five. Again, seated. Start off seated, I'll show a standing version. And you lifted something up high. And if possible, extend one foot forward. We're going to circle whole body one way. You could be seated with the foot forward. You could be standing with one foot forward. You're circling over that foot. And then change direction of the circle. And you're seated or standing. And then we change feet. That foot comes back. Up to seated. The other foot goes forward. And circle one way. Same for standing. We change the leading foot if possible. Not the way to stay stable. Circling one way. And the other way. And if you're seated or standing with one arm in motion, then it's that arm that's making a circle by its side. And staying stable in whatever posture is necessary for you. Remember, all of this is finding the gateway and stuff low state of mind. Movements are a means to get into that state of mind. So why is it not exactly like mine right now as long as you're safe? Not causing injury. They're a way in. Okay. Lovely. Number six, start of seated. Imagine you're by the side of a lake and the reeds are blowing in the wind. Blowing softly from one side to the other. Okay, an option here, two arms, one arm. Wherever you are, Sway the body rather than the arm in isolation. And options for seated, standing, if safe, to allow you to sway like the reeds at the side of a lake, the pond. Nice, nice movement six guys, okay. Moving on to movement seven. Imagine you're in that lake and you're rowing a boat. You're getting the oars and you're rowing forward. So again, like movement five, have one leg forward, row over that leg. With both arms circling forwards and back. One arm. Um, it could be seated, it could be standing, rowing over at one leg. 
on the board. In a rowing boat, on a gentle lake, slowly moving across the lake to your destination, or maybe just out for a row with no particular place in mind to go. Right, and then we're bringing that leg back and the leg forward. That's an option for you. Row over the other leg forward again. Standing, seated, and two arms. Or one arm. Let that breath be slowly going in, continuous in, continuous out. Okay, nice. I imagine you're taking a box and then a circle that box one direction. Again, seated or standing. Change direction. And if it's one arm working this movement, imagine you're holding the top of the box. Right. Nine. Number nine, the cradling a baby with one or both arms. Gentle rock with your breath. And then again, to be two arms, to be one arm. The whole body moving like a pendulum behind it. Could be seated, could be standing. Enjoy the flow, the movement, the rhythm, what it's all about. Using the movement to get into a state of mind, not being preoccupied or focused on getting the movement right, using it as a vehicle to get into flow. Nine. So the next two kind of come as a pair. So number 10, imagine you put your hands down in the water of your lake and sea, and then you're bringing them up into the air. And down, and maybe lean forward, come up, up in the air. I have sensations of the hands down, down into the water, how that feels, how it feels different to bring them up into the air. Is the water cool or is it warm? Is the air cool or warm? And then we've got two arms. Got one arm as an option. If you're doing this standing, option to lean forward, be careful, know your limit. Maybe a big forward bend like this might be tricky. Legs bent, maybe a lowering the head. Slowly lowering up, just check what's okay in terms of limits of dizziness. This is in quite a nice move to do seated. Nice, right. 
And then we're going to move into number 11. Same movement with the hands, just that when they come up, so now to number 11, you're going to make hollow shapes as if you're holding some binoculars. Bring them down. So with two hands, it could be holding some binoculars up. Bring it down. One hand, it could be looking through a telescope. Bring it down. Yeah, and do try and gaze through the hole. And then, and up. And then, one more gaze. Nice. And then, hands on your belly. If one hand is not so responsive, sandwich it in the middle, have the good hand on top. Slowly breathe into your belly. We stop the big movement. The 12th movement is just being still. Let everything slow down. The point of stillness inside. And then when you're ready, slowly open your eyes. All right, so there's the full set of variations. I think we'll just keep doing that for the next few weeks so it becomes more familiar. Um, and just enjoy it. Have a think from the movement today. You can watch over the recording and just think, what's right for me? Two arm, one arm movement, seated, standing. And maybe that would like vary across the 12 movements. Have a think and then can explore that again. Uh, same time next week. Take care, guys. Have a good week. Bye-bye.